So in this video, we're going to take a look at Lookbook, which is a component library um, for view component. And it allows you to build a nice library that showcases all of your components and has documentation around them. So um, I've got this set up already and I'll quickly run through how I've done that. Um, but if you view their quick start guide, it's all very straightforward. So the first thing to do is add lookbook to the gem file. And as far as I know, it has to go below the view component gem. Then we add the lookbook engine to roots and you can put that at whatever URL you want. Um, I've got that wrapped in a device block that authenticates admins. So only admins can view the component library. The next thing then is to set to params here. So the first is what layout you want to use for your components. And the second is uh, where those are located. So I've just put them inside a previews folder where the normal components go. And the component preview file uh, basically just uses this include to load the CSS and JavaScript and then just puts uh, the content inside uh, a centered container with a bit of padding. So the next thing to do then is to create your first component preview and that goes inside the previews folder. So we have a badge component and then this preview will uh, create a preview for that. So I've called the first style effectively uh, default and we render the badge component and just pass it a label. So if we go to lookbook, you'll see we've got this batch component here and you'll see the label and you also then get the code that renders that component. So you can easily click to copy here. Um, if you're on the development team and you want to easily use a component, you can just copy the code and, and start using that. Um, the next thing you'll see then is notes. So you can add documentation to this and then also params. If we take a look and we see using annotations here, you can see you can add a label and customize what that is. So we can go here and call it a, a basic badge. And if we save that, you'll see it's now named basic badge. The second thing we can do then is add some params. So we can um, allow the developer to type in whatever text or select the style of the element. So um, we can come here, copy this and if we say this is our default badge and say it's used to display a badge and then we can say the param is content and that is a text. And I think we can provide a default for that. And we'll just say my badge. Then we have to add our content here. And we can say my badge. And then we can also do one for style and we can say style is normal. I don't think we need that text actually. Um, and style here with normal and important. And then we can pass in our style and change our label to be content. And I think in some of these cases you need to restart the server. So I'm just gonna do that as a precaution and go back and reload. So now that this is loaded, we can go to the content and we can change this to say label and it'll update and we can also then flick between the styles and have normal or important and this is obviously basic badge what we can then do is copy this method and say important badge And we can change this to be important. In fact, 
let's just get rid of this and pass important in directly. And now you'll see that we have default and important. And uh, this works well. However, it would be nice to have them all listed on the one page. And we can do that by using groups. So we'll see we've got grouping examples here. And uh, we can come down here and we can say group. And we'll just go in here and say group. And we'll say styles. And then we move go into our basic badge. We can see then they're listed out. We've got default, we've got important, and the content is here as well. So it's easy to copy whichever one you want. It might be better to not have a param for style here because it's a little weird. Um, so instead we'll just take that out. And uh, put this back to normal. And now you'll see we've got content for either one, which is fine. Um, and it just looks a bit easier to be able to see all the different types of badge. And if you had buttons or something, you might want to see all the different styles there as well. You can also just go to HTML and see the, the raw HTML output of each of those two. So if you want to take a look at what that's generating. That's very handy. So next up, we're going to take a look at a different component here. So we've got this empty message component. So we'll go in and create an empty message component preview. And that inherits from view component preview. And we can give that a default. Now, if I click on this, we get an error because we haven't written any template. So we can go here and say render empty message component dot new. And that will take some options, but we can see if that for now and see what happens. It's got missing keyword title. And let's just take a look here and see. So we've got title and we've got body. So we can put a title in here and say no contacts. And then body, we can put just an empty string for now. And uh, let's put in something like you currently have no contacts. Perfect. So this showcases how an empty message component could work. Um, I think that's all the empty message does for now. There isn't, so we can pass a block to that. So we could maybe say that's default. And then let's say we do one with a block. So default with block. And in here we could say you have no contacts and then uh, I wonder, can we do tag dot span or something like that? Tag dot P. And then let's add a class to that. So we had a class of text large. And then we could also then do tag dot button and say something like uh, add contact. So we might need to do something to join those together. I'm not sure if this will work or not. Nope.
So there we go, we've now got our text and um, we've got a button. And if we add some styling to this button, so we could say class is margin top three, BGU blue. Something like that. Perfect. So uh, this is very composable. We can obviously then also decide if we wanted to group these. So we can say, copy this group across. And maybe call it like layouts or something. And then if we go back to our empty message, you can see we've got default and we've got default with block here, where you can see go into the source, how to pass it as a block or how to pass body as just a string. Um, so that's really useful documentation. And I think the whole thing is just useful to have all your components listed out where you can click through and easily see what the components look like, see what code they generate. Um, and I think this is gonna be an extremely useful library uh, to use, especially in a larger team. So. I hope that was useful. Um, I'm certainly going to be taking a further look at, at this and I think I'll definitely incorporate it into my workflow. So if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you have any content ideas, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Cheers.